Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a layout that's like this one here. Extremely fancy layout, and it only has two image files, which I'm using one. It looks like it's in the background, and this other little text box that's down here. Those are the only image files. Here they are. Here it is all in the layout editor. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start all over from scratch and show you how I built this. I start out with just a blank blank layout that's portrait I mean I'm sorry it's landscape and I'm going to bring in a background image even though this image will actually be used as an overlay type image I'm going to bring it in as a background image to start with and I'll show you the reason for doing it that way here's the image here when I bring it in as a background image I can't, I'm not going to move it at all. If I were to bring that in right now the way I would like to bring it, the way I'm going to end up bringing it in is as an added image file. When I bring that same image in as an added image file, anytime I click on it, it will actually move on the screen. It looks like it's perfectly there, but if I clicked here by accident, now I've got this image moving around. And right now, I don't want anything moving around. I want to be able to place my photo boxes. So I'm going to add my photo boxes. The first one's going to be right here. And I want to make sure that it overlaps that gold frame. So I'm going to grab the corners, bring this right down so it overlaps gold frame. Bring in the second photo box, which is going to be the same size as the first, but I only need this smaller than that. So I'm going to grab this photo box, make it smaller, put it up in this corner like that behind the gold frame, and drop this down to here. Now the third photo box should actually be the exact same size as that one and I'll bring that right down to here and place that right there and I'm gonna pause it now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring in the graphic photo box box that I'm gonna put the text on over here on the left hand side I have an image file in here that I think will work pretty good for that and I'll scroll down and see if I can find it real quick okay should be right down here. I just passed it up. Nope, I didn't. Here it is. So I'm going to bring in this image file and I'm going to place it over here. It's a little bigger than what I want, so I'm going to make it a little smaller and I'm going to place that right here. Okay? Now I'm going to add the text. And I'll grab a text box here and I'm going to type in it Bob and Sue. and make it about 65 size 64 okay i'm going to place bob and sue right over here i'm going to reduce the size of this great big box as it doesn't need to be that big place that right there i'm going to change the font to a, a fancier font that i have in here called brock but in fact there's one here called banks bank script it's a nice fancy file and yeah, make it bold and I make the file just a little bigger and maybe I don't even need it bold and then I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this by holding down the control hit C and then the control and hit V to copy and paste because I want the same style font for the date clear that out make it 9.14.19 is the date okay I'll make that font a little smaller make it 64 and yeah, maybe 60 okay I'll make the font a little smaller and you can add an effect like a drop shadow and then change the color of the text to white how quick this is drop shadow add a drop shadow change the text to white and see how quickly that gets real fancy there but you notice now the photo boxes are still on top so in order to make them behind it, I am going to delete the background image. Background's gone. Now I'm going to bring in that same image as an image file, not as an overlay. I'm going to scroll down here, find that image file. I went too far. Yeah, I did. This one right here. I bring it in. Now it covers up everything. So I'm going to send it to the back. And now everything else is on top. Each photo box needs to be sent to the back one by one. Click on it. Send to the back. Number two, send to the back. Number three, send to the back. 
So now when we preview this file, it will look like this, all nice and finished. The text here for the one that I showed before was a little different, but it still gives you the same concept and how easily it can be done. Any questions, give me a yell. I'll help you out.